Well, I think we all need a moment after that speech. Um, also, I thought I wasn't going to cry, but Sam just made me cry, so no promises. Um, but hi, my name is Megan. I'm Abby's other younger sister and the other maid of honor. I'm very excited that you all can be here to celebrate two amazing people. Having Abby, oh goodness, <laughs> having Abby as my older sister. <laughs> I'm the worst crier. <laughs> has been an absolute blessing. I think the fact that I learned Abby's full name before my own when I was a child shows a lot about what I think about her as a sister. Aside from being another closet to take clothes from, Abby truly has paved the way for so many things in my life, and I will never be able to thank her enough for that. <laughs> You've paved the way for my education, teaching me how to read Mrs. Freer's cursive writing in our old childhood bedroom, helping me pick classes, and even helping me pick major, in which I should have listened to you the first time. You have paved my way for soccer journey, for my soccer journey, helping me realize I was supposed to jump over the traffic cones at Mario practice. Kirby, you know what I'm talking about. And navigating high school soccer. You have paved the way for my character, teaching me how to stand up for myself on the bus to Maple Ridge Elementary School, showing me what hard work looks like and being responsible for a job, even if it is dad having a stable or backyard fence. Thanks for that. And now, you and Mason have paved the way for me to see what an amazing relationship looks like. You both have taught me to find a partner that is your significant other and best friend all at once. I'm sad to see you move out, but to know that you will be in good hands makes things a little bit easier, even though I know it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Mason, thank you for fulfilling my dreams of having an older brother especially one that likes Legos. <laughs> I have never seen Abby ha as happy as she has been in these last few years with you. And thank you for loving Abby so well, even when she tells you to stop spending fun money, which I will always support. It has been so special, weird at the beginning, but special to watch your relationship unfold. I remember that night when we were over the Smiths having a bonfire to burn a tree stump, and Mason came out and sat by us and sat next to Abby, and it seemed like from that summer on, every time our group hung out, it was Mason and Abby next to each other. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, love, and joy. I'd like to invite everyone to raise their glasses to the happy couple. May this marriage be long and your bourbon be strong.